Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Just got a little short video for you guys today. Back when I did my review on the little Henry H0012 lever action, there wasn't a whole lot of ammo available when I did that review, so I just used long rifle. Now the rifle's chambered for 22 longs, shorts, and long rifle. So I had several people ask in the comments of that video and make comments about how this gun cycles with shorts. So today I've got us some shorts and some longs. We're gonna try to get this thing loaded up. You'll notice when I load this little rifle, I always have the action open because the tubular magazine in my hand is up around the muzzle. With the action open, there's just simply no way the gun can fire. With 22 long rifle, this gun holds 15 rounds, but with shorts, you up your capacity to 21 rounds, so that's quite a jump in capacity. You get them loaded up here. I need to get me one of those speed loaders or make me one. I see a lot of people make their own. All right, so we're loaded up. We'll just run through them real quick and see how it cycles. Cycled right through those. 21 rounds. So I've got some longs here. We might as well try out while we're down here. CCI longs, so 29 grain, 1215 feet per second. These shorts were CCI target shorts, rated at 830 feet per second. Now with longs, you up your capacity from 15 with the long rifle to 17 rounds. So, get 17 of these out here. Sixteen rounds. I thought I held seventeen. I've got sixteen in there. I could probably make it seventeen just by dropping one in. Wrong end. Don't think that one to go. Oh yeah. All right, so let's see how the longs do. There we go, 17 rounds. And I felt that last one, uh, I felt, I could tell it was empty, but I was on a roll pulling that trigger, so I ended up squeezing that last one off. Now, I didn't feel it as bad with the, with the short when it ran empty. Now, I've got a couple other things here I want to try as well. I've got some CCI shot shields, number 12 shot. These are the capsule style. We'll shoot 10 of these. Now, these are the same length of the 22 long rifle. So the capacity would be the same, but I'm just going to shoot 10 just to see if it'll cycle them. Haven't tried these in it yet, so I don't know if it'll cycle them or not. We'll find out. You guys will find out the same time I do. Felt like it was empty, but I had one left in the chamber. Still learning this little gun, apparently. So, cycles though just fine. These are Federal birdshot, and they're the style with the crimping on the end. I'll get a close up of these. We'll try 10 of these real quick as well. Oh, 
All right, got it loaded up with 10. Ah, I felt it good that time. Still, still learning that feel. But as you can see, the little Henry rifle is just, it'll cycle anything that I've thrown at it as far as 22 ammo. And that makes it a very nice gun to have because it gives me options to choose what power level or type of ammo I want to run through it. And I can focus on, on that or the accuracy rather than uh, worrying about if it'll cycle it or not. So these guns are just absolutely great little guns. Everybody should have one of these. And as you can see, it'll cycle anything. Okay, so just a quick size comparison of these rounds. On the left, you've got a just a standard 22 long rifle round with a 40 grain bullet. We didn't shoot any long rifle rounds today because we already showed that it cycled those in the first review. The next one over to the right is a 22 long. The next one over is a 22 short. The next one is a CCI encapsulated shot shell. And all the way to the right is a federal crimped shot shell. Both the shot shells contain number 12 birdshot. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That's really all I've got for today. Just wanted to get this out there. I've had a lot of people asking that question. So as always, my links to my other social media accounts are in the description of this video, as they are in all my videos. But I'll talk with you guys again soon.